this video is for class 6 mathematics and in this video uh, we are solving the linear equations word problems from exercise 22d in the part 1 of the video we had done till question number 8 in this video we shall do question number 9 onwards so going to the question question number 9 right the question reads as when two consecutive natural numbers are added, what the meaning of consecutive means which comes one after the another. For example, like 2 comma 3, both are consecutive because 3 comes after 2. If I say 4, it also becomes consecutive like 2, 3, 4 are 3 consecutive natural numbers. Now, here what we are supposed to uh, understand is these two consecutive natural numbers when are added they are giving us a sum of 31 find the numbers so here a hint is given let two consecutive numbers be x and x plus 1 this is the condition uh, for consecutive numbers because here you can see if i assume the first number to be 2 i can write the next number to be 2 plus 1 which is actually 3 right and if I assume a natural number to be 5, right? So, after 5, a number 6 comes, which can be written as 5 plus 1, which is 6. So, here I can assume x and x plus 1 are two consecutive natural numbers, right? Then we can solve the equation. Okay, let us solve it. Question number 9. Let the two consecutive natural numbers be, let the two consecutive natural numbers be natural numbers be x and x plus 1. Now, according to the question, according to the question, we can write x plus x plus 1 is giving me 31, is giving me 31, find the number. So, we have a linear equation here. Let us solve it. So, x plus x is 2x plus 1 is equal to 31. Now, I can write 2x equals to 31 minus 1. As you all know, if 1 goes on the other side becomes a minus 1, plus 1 goes on the other side becomes a minus 1. So, I can write 2x equals to 30. So, I can write x equals to 30 upon 2 and I can cancel this to get 15. Right, I can cancel this to get 15. So, therefore, x will be equal to 15. Therefore, x equals to 15. Now, the two consecutive numbers will be, therefore, the first number I can write, first number will be is 15, and the second number. is 15 plus 1 which is 16. So, I hope you have understood number 9. I hope you have understood number 9. So, let us try to solve number 10. Coming to the next question which is question number 10. Uh, question number 10 reads as when 3 consecutive natural numbers when three consecutive natural numbers are added the sum is 66 now obviously the three consecutive natural numbers will be x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2 right this will be three consecutive natural numbers like for example here we can write uh, 2 comma 3 and comma 4 this can also be written as 2 comma 2 plus 1 comma 2 plus 2 which is giving me 3 and 4 respectively okay let us solve number 10 
coming to the uh, solution of number 10 right uh, we have to assume the numbers let the 3 consecutive natural numbers be x x plus 1 and x plus 2. Now, according to the question according to the question we can write x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 shall give me uh, let us see shall give me 66 right. Okay. Now, this can be written as x plus x plus x plus 1 plus 2 I have just rearranged it. Then I can write 3 x plus 3 equals to 66 this 3 x and this 2 numbers right. Then I can write 3 x equals to 66 minus 3. I hope you have understood till here 3 x equals to 66 minus 3. Further solving it, I will get 3 x equals to 63. Hence, I will get sorry x equals to 63 upon 3. So, I think we can cancel this 3 1 times and 3 2 times and 3 1 time. So, therefore, I can write x equals to 21. So, out of the out of the three consecutive natural numbers, the first one is 21. Therefore, the first number, the first number is 21. The second number, sorry. second number is 21 plus 1 which is 22 and the third number the last one the third number number is 21 plus 2 shall give me 23. So, the three numbers are 21, 22 and 23. So, I hope you have understood number 10. Let us go to the next question which is question number 11. So, coming to the next question which is question number 11. It reads as a natural number decreased by 7 is 12. Find the number. A natural number decreased by 7 is 12. Okay, Let us solve this. Okay, number 11. Let the natural number be x. Right? Then uh, the question says natural number decreased by 7. So, according to the question, according to the question, right x minus 7 is giving me 12 x minus 7 is giving me 12 now i think we have framed the linear equation and we need to solve the linear equation so this is very simple x is equal to 12 plus 7 and hence i will get x equals to 19 Therefore, the natural number is 19. Natural number is 19. I hope you have understood number 11 as well. Now, I think we can do number 12. So, going to question number 12. Question number 12 reads as 
one fourth of a number added to one sixth of it is 15 find the number so i think we have done this kind of uh, sums in the part one of the video but still let us try to solve number 12. so coming to the solution of number 12 uh, the question says one fourth of a number so let the number be x number b x so then i can uh, write one fourth of a number so one fourth of a number number can be written as one upon four multiplied by x is x upon four right then the next one is one sixth of a number of that number sorry sixth of the number is equal to 1 upon 6 multiplied by x which is x upon 6. So, according to the question according to the question we can write it as x upon 4 plus x upon 6 is giving me 15 right is giving me 15. So, now the LCM will be 12 please try to find the LCM here I am trying to find the LCM of 4 and 6 2 times so 2 3 times 2 I will get 1 comma 3 hence 3 I will get 1 by 1 ok. So, the LCM will be 3 into 2 into 2 uh, which is 3 to the 6, 6 to the is 12, ok 12. So, 4 into 3 then we have x into 3 shall give me 3 x and then 6 into 2 and x into 2 shall give me 2 x and between them there is a plus sign equals to 15. Now, for the solving it we can write them as 5 x upon 12 sorry 5 x upon 12 is equal to 15 now sorry I forgot to put this sign here 5 x will be equal to 15 multiplied by 12 for the solving it x will be equal to 15 multiplied by 12 upon 5 5 1 times 5 3 times so, therefore, x will be equal to 3 into 12 which is 36 right. So, the number is 36 therefore, the number is 36 number is 36. So, I hope you have understood question number 12 also. Now, going to the last sum from this exercise 22 D. Question number 13 reads as a whole number is increased by 7 a whole number is increased by 7 and the number so obtained is multiplied by 5 the result is 45 find the whole number. So, this kind of sum is also done in the first part of the video let us try to solve this as well. So, coming to question number 13 right ok let the number be let the whole number be x let the whole number be x sorry ok now according to the question uh, we can write it as x plus 7 when increased by 7 a whole number when increased by 7 now we get a new number the number so obtained is multiplied by 5 is multiplied by 5 
and then that is equal to 45 right so we have framed a algebraic equation so let us solve it also opening the bracket we shall get 5x plus 35 5 into x is 5x and 5 into 7 is 35 equals to 45 then i can write 5x equals to 45 minus 35 for the solving it 5x equals to 10 and then i can write x equals to 10 upon 5 this gets cancelled so therefore the value of x is 2 therefore the value of x is so, what is the value of the whole number? What will be the last statement? The last statement will be therefore, the whole number is 2, therefore, the whole number is 2. I hope you have understood this question. Thank you so much.